It's an interesting one considering when a patient should be resuming normal life after an implant. I think it does depend a lot on what their underlying condition is and why they were having the device implanted. So if the device is being implanted in people who are at high risk of having cardiac arrest but they haven't experienced a cardiac arrest, then they will carry on with doing normal things quite quickly. If people are recovering still from a cardiac arrest and they've had their device implanted, then it might take them longer because of what they're having to deal with. One of the big things for people who have an implantable defibrillator is the driving regulations and these can be looked up certainly in the UK then the driver vehicle licensing association have very clear guidelines with regards to when you can resume driving. That will depend on the indication for the ICD and also uh, the patient's underlying condition and other countries have similar guidelines as well and they vary from between one month to six months off driving or in the case of people who are driving public transport then they may face a lifelong ban from driving those vehicles. Um, with regards to exercise and activity levels again the guidance relates much more to the underlying condition than it does specifically to having the device. Most devices nowadays are set up with the patient's activity levels in mind. In the old days when we had devices that weren't very good at discriminating between different sorts of rhythms then patients were very concerned about exercising too hard for fear of bringing on um, an arrhythmia. Now there are certain conditions where that may still be a concern but the combination of antiarrhythmic drugs and also good advice and the device being set up well should avoid any nasty shocks when the patient is exercising. So I think I would recommend it that that's done mostly on an individual basis but definitely relates to people's underlying condition. If somebody's just been implanted with an ICD, what I would hope is that before their implant that they'd had a lot of information and that they'd really had a chance to think about what it meant to have this device. Mostly it's a good news story because usually it means that then people are protected from suffering cardiac arrest and also that they've got peace of mind in carrying on their normal day-to-day -day activities. Some of the things that should get covered before people have the device put in are around activities, driving, the wound and caring for the wound, making sure that they stay free from infection, lots of advice about when to contact their arrhythmia nurse or the um, ICD clinic and generally just going a little bit carefully in that early recovery stage. Further down the line, then it'll be things about getting back to driving, going back to work, what they should do, and again, that will relate to their underlying condition and how confident they feel. One of the big things that we always emphasise about having their implant and leaving hospital, they can some, sometimes feel a little bit vulnerable, particularly if they've had a period of time where they've been in hospital for a while and being looked after, monitored. It's a bit like going home with a new baby, that they're not quite sure how that's going to work because they're the only people there actually with the device. So it's Try, I, what I would hope is that people have a lot of time to prepare before they have their ICD so that when they leave hospital with their new device that they understand what they're supposed to do. They should have some written information that they can refer to and contact details of people that they can speak to if they have any un unanswered questions. <laughs>